Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Burkett? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Here. Madam Chair, we have a quorum. Thank you. I move for approval of the journal of the meeting of October 1st, 2013. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The journal is approved. At this time, I make a motion to suspend the rules in order for the adoption and presentation of resolution number one, honoring Karen McKay for receiving the top volunteer award from the American Cancer Society Action Network as recognition for Ms. McKay's excellence in cancer fighting advocacy work. Is there a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The rules are suspended. Please read resolution number one. Resolution number one, introduced by council members Burkett, Irby, and Burkett for O'Mara. Resolution, whereas the Cancer Action Network of the American Cancer Society, ACS CAN, has conferred its ACT Leader of the Year award upon Karen McKay, known to all who have worked with her as a highly effective and unflagging advocate of ACS CAN's legislative priorities, whereas the county council desires to add its voice to those who praise Karen for all she has done to help end the human toll caused by cancer. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the county council of St. Louis County, Missouri, as follows. Section 1, the county council congratulates Karen McKay on her receipt of her much-deserved honor. At this time, I move for adoption of resolution number 1. Second. Second. Uh, please call the roll. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on resolution number one, there are six ayes and one absent. Resolution number one is adopted, and we will now present the resolution to Ms. McKay. Do you want to come down with me? Yeah. Okay. No, you got your sense. This is for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> for the girls? Karen, it is really not only an honor, but really a pleasure to give this to you. Um, I know now personally how hard you work for this organization and, and I, I am extremely grateful. Um, you and I have become better friends. You know, I've made the comment before, I'm not happy on the road that I've been put, but this has also allowed me to make many, many new friends. And so I want to thank you so much for what you've done for me and for everybody that has been uh, affected by the disease of cancer. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm wearing the turban for her because she picked this out for me. <laughs> We have no bid openings this evening, so we'll move to communications. Madam Chair, there are no tax compromises, zoning matters, or road and bridge matters this evening, so we'll move to other communications. Under other communications, item number one. 
receive, file, and a county counselor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number two, second district. Receive, file, and refer to the county counselor for review and recommendation, and that will be the order. Item number three, second district. Receive, file, and the temporary expansion of premises be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number four, fourth district. Receive and file. So ordered. Item number five, sixth district. Uh, receive, file, and the change of managing officer be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number six. Uh, receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number seven. Receive, file, and the county counselor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number eight, and that will be the order. Item number nine, seventh district. Receive, file, and county counselor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number 10, fifth district. Receive and file. So ordered. And no add ons this evening? No, ma'am. Mr. County Executive, do you have a report? No, there's really no report. <clears throat> okay, we have no reports of special uh, committees this evening, so we will move to the public forum. We have one speaker. Um, is it Lisa? Is it Panette? And Lisa, please try to keep your comments to three minutes. I'm actually here for a so I have five, but I'll tell you. Well, we, if three minutes is the rule. Did you change the rule? No. Okay, because it's been five for organizations. No. Anyway, um, regardless, I'll probably only take three. I'm here on behalf of the Church Coalition of St. Louis County. Uh, again, they've come to me with two specific grievances against St. Louis County. Uh, one being when they're going to take out uh, and put their signs for a vacation Bible school that apparently they've been approached by people in St. Louis County that are saying you have to get a permit for these and we have a problem with this if this is an ordinance it shouldn't be one um, that's the first one the second one that they're coming to me with is that you guys are now looking to them to also get permits for inflatables so they're going out to the community and um, helping the community and bringing people in from the community and this is costing them money they're not even doing fundraisers they're doing this out of their own pocket, and then you guys are charging them $300, I believe, uh, per inflatable, and you guys are making money on this, on the church again. And so that would be the second uh, grievance that they have. And also there's something with the insurance that they have to have like a million dollars insurance or something if they do that. So these are the grievances that the church, the church has at this time. And um, I would ask that somebody addresses the church if there's anybody on this council that cares because silence is consent. So if no one brings it up, then nobody cares. But we are going to start functioning and coming to these councils. And we've even discussed doing things outside of St. Louis County if you guys continue to be so destructive in St. Louis County just to put a focus on what you're doing. Because if we have to go outside the county to do things um, that aren't going to charge us money, we'll make sure we get buses of people and we won't use bus companies in St. Louis County. We'll use them in those counties that are favorable. Because just like what you're doing to businesses, you're now doing to churches. You're becoming very uh, hostile toward them. And what I hear is these have already been on the books, but now you guys are just really enforcing what's already been on the books, which you guys should be enforcing what's on the books. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be. You should be. But the problem lies that you shouldn't be going after the church. So if these are ordinances against the church, they shouldn't be. So I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So you quoted yes. some prices, right? Some, yes. some, some fees. Yes. Are these inflated or are they actual? Because well, are you giving us... Well, I did call. I did talk to the highway department today, so I do believe those. And they confirmed those, that there's a three hundred dollars yes, charge. Yes, they confirmed the everything. They confirmed. I believe it was thirty thirty five dollars for the signage for the VBS signs that were going out, and also um, the three hundred dollars for the inflatables. And they basically said they're making money on the inflatables, but probably not the signs. But regardless you're making money you're not making money that I don't think that's the question here the question is should you be going after the church for these things if they're having vacation Bible school I don't think they should be charged 
money for those signs and neither do they. And um, certainly if they're having these inflatables and, and things for the community, I don't think they should be penalized for doing so. And again, why are we making them go to other counties? I just don't understand the hostile environment going on here. I, I mean, I'm just at a loss and I don't seem to get any answers from anybody. Well, what is your coalition? What churches? It, I'm not going to say them specifically. I mean, there's a reason why. They think that you guys are hostile towards them. I mean, yeah. So, well, I mean, and so it's how, the real I mean, church, how can how we look that? into it if we don't know what churches are involved? Well, I'm sure you would like to know. Well, you're so the only you person that's them. come forward with this, so obviously it's, it's a specific. Because I'm not scared of you. Oh, for God's sake. I mean. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Look into it, but I don't know who you're supposed to look into. That concludes the public forum. And we will go to introduction of bills. Bill number 221, introduced by Councilmember Burkett, an ordinance amending ordinance number 25,283 by repealing and reenacting sections 1 and 2, pertaining to a grant from the St. Louis County Children's Service Fund for therapy services and overnight shelter for residents of the Kathy J. Weinman Shelter. Bill number 222, introduced by Councilmember Dolan, an ordinance declaring the public necessity of and providing for the opening, widening, and establishing of a section of public road designated as Eddie and Park Road, lying wholly within the incorporated limits of the City of Crestwood, designated St. Louis County Project Number SWK-1376, directing the acquisition of real property, therefore, and authorizing the County Executive to execute contracts, agreements, and related documents. And I'm sure that is all the bills. Thank you. A perfection of bills. Bill number eight, introduced by Council Member O'Mara. Please hold. Okay, that'll be the order. <laughs> Bill number 213, introduced by Council Member Burkett. Uh, please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 216, introduced by Council Member Burkett. At this time, I move to perfect Bill number 216. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 216 is perfected. Bill number 217, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 217. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 217 is perfected. Bill number 218, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 218. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 218 is perfected. Bill number 219, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for perfection of bill number 219. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 219 is perfected. Bill number 220, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 220. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 220 is perfected. Final passage of bills. Bill number 184, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. Please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 158, introduced by Councilmember Erb, plea for Councilmember Burkett. Please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 159, introduced by Councilmember Irby for Councilmember Burkett. Please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 181, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. Please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 214, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move for final passage of Bill number 214. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, Bill number 214, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 214 is finally passed. Bill number 215, introduced by Councilmember Burkett. I move for final passage of Bill number 215. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill number 215, there are six ayes and one absent. Bill number 215 is finally passed. We have no additional resolutions this evening, Madam Chair, so we'll move on to unfinished business. Item number one. Hold on the order of business, same motion through item number four, and that will be the order. Item number five, fifth district. Please hold. So ordered. Item number six. Uh, hold on the order of business, and that will be the uh, order. And we've got a new business. Madam Chair, we have one prepared order this evening. I move for document order number one. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Order number one is adopted. Will we adjourn? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you.